Well, the past few days, weeks, and weck, weck, heck, this weekend has really made me think a lot about communication. In SOTOR. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters. How is everyone doing out there? This is your first time on the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more SOTOR fun from your Bioware SOTOR influencer bearded guy. This guy right here. No one else, just this guy. How you doing? Anyways, my friends, so as we all know, the this past weekend we had the Anthem demo, Anthem, a, a brand new IP from I from Bioware. Bioware. Oh my goodness, what's happening to my brain? It's all the code. Uh, but yeah, we had we had the um, demo, and I had what can I say? I freaking had amazing fun, as you can see in my Captain America style. Uh, javelin over there right over yeah, right there uh, but not playing anthem but just everything that went on yes there were a few issues that's for another video tomorrow uh, but the biggest thing I took from the last couple weeks from uh, last couple days this weekend um, especially was communication we are used to ea not saying much we're used to bioware not saying much and and quite frankly sometimes we're used to gaming companies being a bit too defensive about their games and sometimes the narratives they put in the games um but one thing i have found outrageously refreshing is the openness and transparency with communication and humility from Bioware in terms of Anthem, whether it has to be with the issues that Anthem had with the demo or just in general. Bioware has been extremely transparent and open uh, with this game. And it really had me thinking that um, there is something lacking greatly in the SOTOR community, in the SOTOR world, uh, uh, communication. Most definitely. I would love to see communication on the level that we have seen from Bioware recently for Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, yes, there are some times we get info dumps and then the whole community is like totally engaged in all the gaga. People are flocking back to see what's going on in Star Wars The Old Republic. And then, like in other games... The information dries up. Dead space begins. There is nothing to be heard from Bioware. There is nothing to be heard really from the devs outside of a few communications here and there. Or the Old Republic Twitter or maybe Facebook, whatever that is. Blah. Um, does the thing about like, yo man, it's bounty hunting time. Let's do the whole thing over again and over and over. But hey, what's your favorite color for that mountain? Um, I'm not... I'm not belittling that. I think it's great. At least there is some communication there. But what we don't get is communication from the devs a lot. We barely get any information from Keith. He kind of holds himself up doing Keith stuff. And primarily, I'm okay with that um, because 510 and then where the story is going, I, I have my full trust in Keith. We don't really hear much from the other developers. And uh, quite frankly, I honestly believe this hurts the game. This hurts the community. We need to have uh, a game, a developer company, who doesn't just show so much love like they are with Anthem, Dragon Age, yes, Mass Effect as well, but we need to have them show love to the community within SOTOR. We need to hear more from those within the walls at Austin. We need to hear what's going on, what's going to happen. We need there to be a more consistency when it comes to their um, developer um, streams. Like I, They did say that they're going to try to hit once a month. They're going to try to do all these things, and yet that always typically falls quite short of what they promised us would happen. Uh, but yeah, and even there were times when you would have PvP stream fun with Eric Musco, and those are great fun. 
but you don't really get that. And I understand a lot of them are busy doing whatever it is they need to do, but I don't believe it would behoove them too much to actually be consistent in their communication, consistent with their streams. Even if it's not a butt ton of information, it is good to know and see that they are actively doing something. Now, yes, there's a lot of red tape that when we, when we in regards to Star Wars or Republic because we're dealing with Star Wars. We're dealing with okay anthem is dealing with ea and bioware that's it that, that's it it's done whereas star wars the old republic is dealing with ea bioware lucasfilm lucas art what have you and the mouse oh the mouse yeah so they have all these channels they need to go through to, to get anything done and that's no secret. That's out there. It's publicly whatever. There's no NDA against that. We all know that. I mean, there's so, yeah, there is some justifiable uh, truth to uh, the lack of communication, one might say, with uh, within uh, SOTOR when it comes to Bioware. But I believe there are other ways they can talk. They, can, they could come out to the community. They could talk about more things in 510. They could be a little more free with everything. And I think maybe if they push uh, the powers that be and say, hey, we need to be more communicative with our community, then perhaps there could be a chance that they will. But... There, the, I, I honestly think that this is it becomes really uh, a damaging effect to the game and to the community when they don't say much at all. And I think now that we have a new community coordinator alongside with Eric Musco, and this is stuff I have brought up recently as of today, um, hopefully that will change. There are there are a lot of changes um, coming afoot, a lot that I cannot talk about, but trust me, as always, if I'm hyped for it, then you, my friends, should be too. Have faith in the beard. I will always protect and defend you guys from no matter whom it is. But, yeah, I mean, is it just me? Do you guys believe the same thing? What do you guys think when it comes to communication? What would you like to see communication-wise um, from Star Wars The Old Republic? I mean, I remember yonder year when they had that issue with the uh, Revan <laughs> during the Christmas time, and all hell started breaking loose, and we didn't really hear a peep at all. Now, yes, it was during the holiday, so that's a really bad time for big bugs and glitches that happen. But we didn't hear much at all. And then you get a big swath of information. And they're being communicative. They're talking. They're talking. And then they shut up. They don't talk anymore. And then they're really good. And they, they, they don't talk anymore. I'm not trying to poo-poo on the game at all. I'm not. I love the game. I believe it's a great game. And I see a great future for it. However, they, could, they would do well to heed what we have to say. And put your comments in the comment section below. Believe me, I will let them know. They would do well to be more open and transparent with this community and be more out there visible for us to see. Now, that's that's just me. Like I said, put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on the whole thing. Make sure you hit that like button. It helps the channel out quite a bit. It helps more people find us here. And if you really like what you see here, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more fun. Become part of the family here at the Freak Show of YouTube, the Black Sheep of Gaming. My friends, as always, remember to be kind. It's about community. And if you want to support me on a more personal level, make sure you check out the Patreon there. My friends, have a good one. Be safe. Be kind. We'll see you later. Good day.